Hi, this presentation is about what we've called Quick Kaizen Mapping. I'm going to take you through the basics of understanding what a Quick Kaizen Process Map is and what the benefits are of producing a Quick Kaizen Process Map. This is really a vastly simplified value stream map which will give you very quick results if you want to focus on a specific area or product line. Now seriously, if you want fast results, this method is amazing as you can identify in literally minutes where you are allowing waste to occur. Remember, if you are allowing waste, then you are wasting something, be it people's time, material, but probably worst of all, money. Here is a blank quick Kaizen template. You can see we have space for adding the date, what the area is or the process that we are reviewing and other information is required. Along the top you can see five symbols. These refer to the type of action the operator is performing. One of these will add value, performing the actual operation. The other four add little or no value. Remember the seven plus one wastes? Well, we focus on just four of them here. Those are overprocessing, which is in this case inspection, conveyance or storage, motion, which is transport, and waiting, which we've called delay. The other action we will consider is the action of doing the operation itself. These symbols are then given an individual column. We also have columns to recall time, distance and other things that might be important to us. Here is a partially completed Quick Kaizen template. First what we've done is record each of the process steps on the left hand side of the page in the order that they are performed. Secondly, we've also recorded the amount of time that it takes to perform this operation. This will generally be working time. We can also record the distance in travel an action is taken and if we want to break down the costs, the cost to the business of performing this action. Next we identify what the action is. For example, store the old engines is clearly storage and we've put a black dot in the cell under storage. Picking up the engine is motion or transport. So again, another black dot in the cell next to the action, but in the column that the action represents. We continue doing this for all the process actions until we complete the process. Finally, we join the dots up to create a path. Now remember, the only action adding any real value is the column on the left, the operation. The further you move to the right in the columns, the less value is being added. So you want to have the dots and the line joining the dots over to the left as much as possible. This will indicate that you are then adding value to the product and the customer. Here is a fully completed sheet with all the steps listed and all other details about time and distance recorded. At the bottom of the slide you'll notice a small table has been added. This is to total up the time, as this is usually the most important waste we need to consider, for each action being performed and then we can see what percentage of time we are spending during the process performing that particular action. Now we move into the analysis stage.